Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 28th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now, this segment, I want to talk about a potential strike by a tropical cyclone, presently Hurricane Rosa, which is threatening to bring very heavy rains and tropical storm-like conditions to the U.S. Southwest over the coming days. This swirl of clouds here in this present satellite image provided by NASA is Rosa, but I also like to call your attention to a second area of disturbed weather here off of Central America, which could provide a second strike to the same region with a storm similar to Rosa, following Rosa by about three to five days. So I'm gonna talk about this later. However, right now the focus is on Rosa. Now looking at the satellite image, we see a rather well-defined storm moving over the Eastern Pacific, tracking off to the Northwest at about seven miles per hour. According to the National Hurricane Center, Rosa presently features maximum sustained winds in the range of 140 miles per hour, making it a very powerful category four storm. Over the coming days, Rosa is expected to track to the north and, and take a turn more to the north and then turn more to the northeast, making landfall sometime late Monday or early Tuesday along the Baja Peninsula before moving into Arizona, Eastern California, and, and possibly affecting parts of, of New Mexico and other southwestern states with very heavy rainfall. The, the primary concern for this storm though the National Hurricane Center is expecting to make land, it, it to make landfall as a tropical storm is, is expected to be rainfall. And I'd like to just zoom in on, on predicted rainfall poten potentials for ROSA. And this is a, a Euro model, an ECMWF model, showing precipitation amounts in the range of two to as high as eight inches over parts of the Southwest, including Southeastern California, parts of New Mexico, parts of Nevada, and locations further North. Just taking a look at the statement from Jeff Birardelli, Rosa is expected to produce six to 12 months worth of rain in just one to two days widespread instances of two to four inches are possible with isolated instances of six inches. Las Vegas is expected to get four inches, Death Valley two, Phoenix, Arizona, as much as eight inches, Palm Springs, six inches. So very severe rainfall for a region of the U.S. that doesn't typically receive severe rainfall. And these totals would produce severe flash flooding due to the fact that lands in this region are, are baked hard and dry and, and do not absor uh, absorb a lot of water. So in addition, there are numerous regions in this area in the, in the U.S. Southwest which have experienced severe wildfires, reducing foliage's ability to anchor the land so so such severe rainfall also increases the risk of mudslides now moving for actually before i i talk about another threat i like i like to talk about some of the climate change related influences for rosa rosa is currently moving over an area of ocean that's about one degree celsius above normal and will track over waters in the range of about 0.5 to 2.5 degrees Celsius above normal, lending it fuel and moisture as it tracks toward the southwestern U.S. This is a signature fingerprint of human-caused climate change in that climate human-caused climate change increases sea surface temperatures and adds fuel for storms like hurricanes in the form of convective 
moisture rising off of warmer waters through the process of evaporation, as well as higher atmospheric moisture loading, which also provides more fuel for storms, increasing their peak intensity, but also in particular, increasing rainfall potentials from these storms, making them more dangerous, more intense, and more likely to produce flooding. So the issue with Rosa, however, is not a single issue. And as with Japan, it appears now that the US Southwest could see a double strike. And I just wanna call your attention to a model run over at Tropical Tidbits. This is a GFS model run. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and run this model for you. Here we see Rosa in the GFS uh, cycling off toward the north and east, striking the Baja Peninsula and producing very heavy rains for the southwest. But note this second storm here, which appears to follow nearly the same track as Rosa, this by Friday, October 5th, and by next weekend starts to threaten the Baja after a bit of a stall off the off the coast of the, the Baja Peninsula, and then makes a run in toward the U.S. Southwest and the Baja Peninsula by Wednesday of the following week. Now, of course, this is a long range forecast. It can be taken with a bit of a grain of salt. However, if this second strike does occur, it would produce a second follow-on event of very heavy rains for the U.S. Southwest and under the conditions that I described to you earlier, where the Southwest right now is, is, is rather vulnerable to flooding. We'd also just like to note that there is a bit of a silver lining with these predicted strikes. This region of the U.S. is presently suffering from severe drought, in particular the Colorado River Basin and Lake Mead, and these regions are thirsting for moisture. These storms could provide it, however, it's not as helpful when the moisture is provided in extreme events, extreme single events, or back-to-back -back extraordinary events like this. And unfortunately, the prevalence for human-caused climate change is that you get more of your rain packed into these extreme events. So you tend to swing from, from between drought and flood more readily. So just an update on Rosa, but also something to consider. We might see a severe follow-on event on the heels of Rosa as well. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.